Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Viger wall clock from Flying Tiger. See the packaging from the front? It's quite uh, transparent. It's really just uh, plastic. The box is cardboard. And we see on the back some information in Japanese. Danish and in English. Like all good things, it's made in China. Let's open up the box, shall we? It was a little violent, I'm sorry. Once we take off the saran wrap, the clock is revealed inside. You'll notice some paper clips, approximately 12 of them, in many colors, non-repeating of course, uh, presumably meant to symbolize the hours of the day. Um, what's cool about these is if you want, you can hang like a photo or like a, a potato chip in there. Uh, you'll notice the, the hands However, are two different sizes, one for minute, one for hours. Do not believe this feature is a second hand. Uh, they appear to be aluminum. And this accented plate is, you'll notice, is brushed aluminum. You can see that accent there, excuse me. And on the back, we have these two screws which hold the clock in place. And now they've been removed. Uh, and you'll notice that the clock just kind of falls right off, which is, uh, that's a little worrying. Here's the, the pit it left in the packaging. All cardboard, by the way, very nice, recyclable. Here's the back side of the clock. You'll notice that it does take one 1 1.5 volt double-A battery and you can of course wind it with this rotary gear dial here does not feature alarm support so it stays cheap here's a, here's a bit of a closer look on all of the, our paper clips 12 assorted colors, ladies and gentlemen. So let's put in a battery. Let's see how this thing ticks. For this review, I'll be using Duracell Pro Cell AA Professional Alkaline Batteries. Um, you, uh, it depends on where you live. In your state, you might need a permit to own these. So check your local laws. One AA battery, colored danger orange. Let's just plug this bad boy in. It's not one to go in. I'm sure it's in the right way. We got it. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just beginning to tick. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. Now that is a fine Chinese movement, if I've ever heard one. Now all I have to do is set the correct time with the dial and I'll be all set. Can't wait to hang this baby on the wall. It does get fingerprints a little easily. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more clock unboxings. See ya.